Right guys, we're on the move. We're two box shopping for the shop. Let's see what we have. Apparently we can't get them, they don't have them built, so I have to go to another store to get them, but check this out, this is what I'm getting. $4.29 each one. We're going to buy one here, buying one here, and then we're going to go buy three at another store. We found out they have three more at, uh, in Cabina. So I'm going to go get the truck, we load this one up already, go drop it off, and then we'll go to Cabina and pick up the other three over there. So me and Dave are here at Home Depot. We're buying the second two. Seeing if they have one more built already. I don't want to have to go home, back home and build it myself. So we're checking in the inventory in the back. But these are the ones we're getting right here. Pretty cool, they have USB ports on the back. Plugs on the side, a lot of cabinet space. What we like about it is that it's super big on top. A lot of space to put machines and everything you need. All right, guys. I'm gonna give you the quick rundown of the situation, what happened, all right? We went to the first Home Depot. They had one box. They had a bunch of boxes, but you have to put them together, and I don't wanna put them together. If I'm paying as much money, I want my shit already rolling, all right? They had one box outside, so stupid me just bought it. All right, one box, and we'll go buy the other Home Depot. There's Home Depots everywhere around here. So we bought that one, then we decided to go straight to Covina to buy another one. We could put two in my truck, so we bought another one in Covina. Went back to that uh, shop, dropped those off. Then from there, we went um, back to Covina. No, we went to, from there we went to Monrovia, and Monrovia they had we want to see if they had any there, hoping they had two so we could just buy two and then come back. They only had one. And the key didn't, they had no keys. So they gave that one to me for $50 less. We don't need keys. Bought that one. From there we went back to Kavina. No, from there we decided that we were gonna, cause when we bought the first one, it was outside. I didn't realize that it was all messed up on the top from the sun beating on it. So I was like, man, that's gonna look like crap. I go, you know what, Dave? Let's take that one back. So we took that one back to Glendora, got our money back. From there, we went to Baldwin Park, picked up another one, because they only had one. And then from there, we went back to Kavina and picked up another one. So right now, we're up to four boxes. But me and Dave been running around since 9 a.m. Right now, it's uh, 1.50 and um, Pretty much, we're not even done, guys. I'm going back to the shop right now. Came to pick up the drill because every station has to have a power strip and my stations have power strips on them. And these things have built-in power strip. It only has six plugs. Plus, it comes with a USB, which I love. It has a USB port on the box, which is really nice. But there's not enough plugs for everybody. There's, there's just not enough. So um, the power strips that I have on my old stations, I'm gonna take those off and put them on the on these new stations. I'm gonna try to mount them on the back of the station, see if we can use it like that. It'll be very convenient if we can mount it on the back. Um, yes, I'm gonna drill into my new box. But you know what, guys? I, sometimes you gotta set up your stuff the proper way. So that's what we're gonna do right now, uh, uh, set it up. But uh, Raul and Dave, as I showed you, I mean, Raul and Biz, I already showed you guys, they already set their box up. And that guy's already looks way better. I'm gonna love the, the look of that. And it's gonna be so much easier to clean because you could just roll the boxes out and then, you know what I mean? And, and do that and clean up behind it so it won't be as bad as having a station because when you have a station the, the station like right now all the hair just piles up behind it like right now they blew the, all that hair that was in the middle that's all from under the stations and under the uh, under the, the the chairs um this year we didn't do a deep cleaning so right now this is kind of like a deep cleaning so right now when i pull my stuff out what i'm gonna do is mop behind there and you get it nice and clean so i'm not done yet still be at the shop 
and uh just follow me along all right guys all right guys me and the boys are on one right here we're cleaning everything up setting everything down moving dave's and my station up so i could put the new stations in the back first i'm gonna mop back here because it's pretty disgusting as you can see it gets pretty dirty I'm doing the mirrors but look at all the dirt that was behind the stations this is all from behind the station and I mop and sweep every single week. I blow everything out. We blow it out daily, but I do it once a week to mop, and this is ridiculous. Hair gets everywhere. Hopefully these these uh, roller boxes will be a little bit better, because see that one right there, that big base back there? It just pretty much, see how it is? It just blocks all the hair back there. So these ones, like, they should be able to blow the hair from the back, blow it forward. Looking pretty good. Alright guys, what we're doing now is we're setting up the stations. You can see this is really nice. Look at this. It's a good little cover right there. Got other ones over here. I already set up the top a little bit. So much shit, guys. People with the mask. Got doors for everything now, guys. The great thing about this. What's up, Davey? Nice. Looks better already, huh? Yeah. Right now, I'm gonna um, I'll help you set up yours, okay? So I'm gonna. I have to put the. I have to transfer this to the side of your thing over there. Do you want it on, on this side or the other side? Same, we all put it on, on this side. Is it this thing? Not this one, I'm gonna put this long one. Oh, put it wherever the plug's at for him, don't. I usually put my stuff on this side. On this side? Yeah. Okay, cool. Then I'll put it on that side for you. Okay. Cause the plug's on, the plug's on that side anyway. Oh, okay. I didn't even know that this was here, actually. Unless you need it. What? No, no, I don't. No, so I'm saying I'm gonna put it for you. Yeah, I usually put my stuff on, on that side because they're not gonna because you, you have you have plugs on this side too, oh. but you're gonna have some on. You want some on the other side better? Yeah, okay. Nah, I'm gonna put the other one over here right now. That way I can slide my station over a little bit. Okay? We're too close to each other, huh? A little bit. We need, um, let me do that first before I do your thing. That way I can slide it over. Careful, dog. Hurt yourself. Huh?
Yeah, pull yours on first, man. Unplug this one. You guys know you how much you guys like looking into the bone yard. Since I'm getting rid of these stations, I have to get rid of all this. But then I'm getting rid of it, but I gotta put it all the way. Look at this style liner. I used to use these all the time. Another style liner. There's a tip on there, yep. This thing probably still works. Let's see what this one. Five star switch is good. Still has a third pipe. Still works good. This one's broken. See, like have to because of the switch and the cable. Peanut. I haven't used the peanut in a while. Peanuts always come in handy. The kids. IV Mac, if you hear me, I got those blades for you, but I haven't forgot about you. Well, I did forget about you, but I haven't forgot about you. This is a charger for a five star. Stuff like that. I don't know what this is for, so I'll throw that away. It's not a five star charger. If anybody sees anything they want in here, let me know. You pay for shipping and I'll send it to you. And the charger case. Check out this over here though. This is gonna be my new. I got one, two, three, four, five ostriches. That's <laughs> five ostriches. my new boneyard and IV Mac I do have the blade for you I just haven't sent them out to you but give me time trust me this is what we're looking like boys Trying to get everything cleaned up. I gotta clean everything up in here before I go home tonight. Okay, boys and girls, that's it for today. This day is over. Finally got my shop back together, guys. I'm gonna show you guys right now. Uh, let me just give you a little insight on my sh uh, on everything that happened here. Uh, each box that I bought cost me four hundred and twenty nine dollars four seventy nine out the door with taxes everything included guys um, We ran around a lot because I didn't want to put them together I don't know if that was a great idea or not, but I'm tired from just doing these four I can imagine if I would have bought all seven So I'm glad that I only got four today. I'll work on the rest uh, on another day uh, probably this next week because I, I don't like being ununiform. It's I'm kind of like OCD about that I want everything looking the same plus when all the other boxes go and get in here It's gonna look even a lot better, but let me show you how we came out with all right guys check it out This is biz station. He had a little trouble taking off his sticker. So we got to get him some goo off But you know biz really has a great setup good machines man invests in his tools we got raul station right here i like these stations because they have so much counter space you know i thought i was gonna have more room for to um put more machines up on top but this is my station right here guys you guys can see right here i have all my stuff set up already nice and clean that's why it took so long that's the boneyard right there guys 
It's the boneyard. I'm gonna start giving away some of those um, ostrers, guys. I have like five of them. I don't even need them no more. I use Oster Octane. But this is what it's all looking like here, here, guys. I think it came out really nice. I think it looks very professional. I think once you get all the other stations done, uh, once I buy um, the other three, I think it's going to really look nice. And then what I'm going to do on this side is over here, I'm going to take these benches out of here eventually. And I'm going to have um, custom seating all the way across all the way across and around the, the, the machine over there. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna do the floor. So the floor is probably the next step. Then we'll do the seating. Or I might do the windows outside first, you know, cause I wanna dress the windows outside. But I think this is a good start, guys. I really love the way it looks. Um, I feel like we got more counter space, more uh, room to put stuff inside uh, the drawers, which in a way is good, but in a way is bad because you don't want to have a lot of clutter. And trust me, when you have a toolbox, you will have more clutter, guys. I've tried the toolbox on top of the station, and it just seemed like I brought a lot of clutter. But this is what the state, this shop's looking like, guys. I just cleaned right now. So right now it's about 6 o'clock. 6 p.m. right now. We've been at it since this morning, guys. We played golf at 5.30. We had we had golf at 6.30. We were done by 9 o'clock. Went straight to the bank. Went to uh, Home Depot. Did those four runs. And thank you to my son, David. David helped me out all day long. And he came through for Pops. And I appreciate that, meal. Appreciate that a lot. You know, he watches my vlogs. But, guys, this is what it came out. I, I'm really happy with this. And, um... You know, hey, you have to invest in your craft. You have to invest in your business. You always got to do upgrades. If you're going to be charging a lot, you want to look professional. You want to look good. You want to, you know, you want when people to come into your shop and be wowed. And that's that's what I, that's the the that's what what I like to get out of my shop. I like when people walk in and they, hey, if they're a Raider fan, you know they're going to be wowed. But if they're any kind of sports fan, they're going to be wowed also. And plus, here in LA, everybody's a Dodger fan, so we got all our Dodger memorabilia. All my bobbleheads over here on this side. Uh, my my Christmas tree, because Christmas is almost here, guys. But yeah, this is what the shop is looking like after I cleaned it. What you guys saw earlier, it was pretty messy, you know? So I cleaned it all up, mopped. Everything's ready for Thursday when I come back in. Yeah, guys, so I spent almost 2K on these boxes today. Um, you know, it's just an investment. It's investment towards my business and and I feel I, I, I'm content with it. I really, really like the way it looks. Um, I'm happy with it, so we'll see. All it now is I have to get adjusted to using a new station. You know, when you have a new station, it's like working at a new shop almost. You gotta figure out where everything's at, where you're gonna put everything, you know, and, and um, eventually you get it all nice and tight and everything runs hunky-dory, but that, that's the way it is. But guys, I appreciate every single one of you guys joining me today here at Big Al's Barber Channel. We're here to help you get better with your barbering career. And today was just a lesson for you guys that are wanna be shop owners. This is that kind of stuff that you go through. Today was my day off and I had no day off, no day off whatsoever. But hey guys, when you have a business, you own a business, this is what happens and it happens all the time. Just letting you guys know so that you guys can get up on it. Um, super tired today. Oh my God, I got a hole on my shirt. Damn, see? Victim, victim of uh, of of all the the hard work today, but super content with the way everything came out, guys. Guys, I appreciate every single one of you guys watching. With that being said, see you guys on the next vlog. Grand on. Um.